Oh, hello. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the Canon 300 millimeter F 2.8 for basketball. Lately, I've been using this for some of my games and typically I'll use it for like a quarter or like a half, depending if I'm shooting girls or boys college or some high school. And that is to kind of just change up and have a variety in my shots. So typically I'll be shooting with a 85 under the basket or my 24 under the basket. And then occasionally I'll throw on the 70 to 200, but I'm not a big fan of using a zoom lens. So if I have the opportunity and the space, I will use the 300 to get those tighter shots that I need or want. And so some of the gyms that I shoot at have platforms where I can shoot up from um, above the court. But lately I've been trying to shoot with it on the floor. So I'll shoot across the court and get defensive shots, rebounding shots, um, try to get some of the bench or the coach, you know, uh, telling them what play to run or what to do, um, some instruction. And I also try to just get some tight shots um, as they're coming down the court. And so the 300 has been a nice um, change up and just something that I really, really like to use if possible. So I just want to show you some of those photos and here they are. So those were the photos. Um, those are just from the past three or four games that I've shot. I definitely plan on using it more often as the season comes to an end almost and just try to get some more variety. So um, when the school or the publication goes through their um, files of all their photos, it's not just a bunch of the same stuff from under the basket. Um, I just like to have a good variety and it's good for the portfolio to have something different and not just a bunch of the same shots of you shooting from the corner or under the basket. So it's always nice to change things up, try something different. And so the 300 has been uh, my go-to for basketball this year to get something different. So with that said, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. I always try to go through my comments once a week and reply to them and hopefully help you out if you have any questions. Um, with that said, I appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.